Hi everyone. Today I am making this scene in a jar. These are really easy to make. Um, all you need is some magazines or old catalogs or even old calendars that you might have laying around the house. Um, and they're really fun to do together. So stick with me and I'll show you how I make this. To start this project, you are going to want the jar template. So I will put a link for that in the description and you can print that off for free for yourself. And once you have your template, just go ahead and cut that out. And then we can start collaging. So I find that old calendars work great for this. Also travel brochures. And I also keep a box of collage items on hand. Sometimes I find that pre-cutting the images makes it easier for my clients because they're not being bombarded with all of the words and advertising that you might see in the magazines. Um, it makes it easier for them to make some choices for themselves. So I've selected some pictures. Some of them can be background, some of them can be foreground, and then I'm just gonna start laying out my ideas for the collage. So for these kinds of projects, I enjoy using a glue stick that is purple and disappears as it dries. I like this type of glue because for my clients it's easier for them to see and you know once it goes down onto the paper they can see where they've put the glue and it makes it easier for them to place the items on top. If any of the pictures that you've glued on top overlap the edge of the jar don't worry because you can always flip the jar over and then trim on the side there to make it look nice and neat. So I've got my sky and my ground laid out and I'm just going to try placing some of these fun animals and plants in here and just see what I like and what looks good. This part is always fun um, and when I'm working with clients this always ends up being kind of like a, a little story time. We can make up any ideas, you know, what's happening with the this polar bear and these crazy plants that are growing in what looks like the Arctic. What do you think this goose would be saying to the polar bear? Don't be afraid to delve into the world of imagination because it, it's really quite fun. So I've got my animals laid out and then just turn it over and give it a little trim to tidy up the edges. And then as a final little detail, I like using my black marker, going around the edge and drawing the lines onto the jar. And of course you can always color the lid of the jar if you choose as well. And there's my little scene in a jar. What do you think the polar bear and the goose are talking about? I hope you enjoyed that and that you get your own chance to make a little scene in a jar. They're really fun to make um, and they always turn out looking a little different. I'll show you one that I made last summer with a group of clients. As you can see, completely different, but always fun. Um, it's a great way to use your imagination and to use up those magazines that might be around the house. So. Until the next video, take care. Bye-bye.